Like, what happened to families? What happened to the fathers? Now we have baby daddies and deadbeat dads. Boys that want to make a baby but don't want to give their last name. Plant a seed but don't nurture the plant. Laying down with any woman that will take her clothes off all because you want to make an honest woman out of her. Scared little boys that want to be able to say, that's my son, but only when the time is right for them. Not knowing and not caring, they should always be there to make sure their sons don't end up on the corners like them or their daughters in the poles like the girls that like the whistle at and make it rain with the money that they should be home spending on diapers and foods for their kids. Come on. Not trying and striving to make sure their children don't have to live that kind of life. Not giving them a father or a family. Just giving them a guy that stops by every couple of weeks to hook up with mom and maybe take them to McDonald's. Mm. What happened to the mothers? Mm. Little girls want a real live doll that can dress up so they keep getting knocked up because they think if they spread those legs for a guy, it's going to make them love her and he's going to stick around. Mm. But if the first guy didn't stick around, maybe the second or third will. So they keep trying the same thing. Not trying to be a good role model. Not showing their daughters they don't need a man. Mm. And showing their sons that this is the kind of woman you want. One that helps you build, not one that lets you control. Mm. <clears throat> Come on. Because man after man and baby after baby means something has to give. And usually what gives is the future of these children. Because now the chaos of the rotating men is all they know. Mm. And the little boys learn they don't have to see their future kids. And the little mm. girls learn the men are supposed to run off after the pants go back on. Mm. What's happened to love? Love's gone from flirting, dating, and falling in love to hooking up on a boredom and maybe catching feelings. And if you can't tell the difference between love and lust when you're climbing in the bed with that person, think about that next morning. Is your plan to stick around for breakfast or are you sneaking out with some bullshit reason? Mm. Thank you. Yeah.